Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. When we last left off, we were in a jungle full of um, these guys, Chthonites. And um, it's a uh, second turn, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we need to do a lot more scouting. So, I'd say let's go this way. Nothing. No. Okay, but this is the edge of the map. Okay, we'll keep a close eye on that. Now, the sever has a motion scanner. We'll uh, put you over here and you'll give us a reading at the beginning of the next turn. That's fine. Then we have Santino with a standard rifle, but first maybe we should uh, scout ahead. Oh, look at that. Another guy. Supras, you have a sniper rifle. You need 25 time units, so you can move probably somewhere around here. Turn around and give us your best aimed shot. I don't know, was that a hit or not? Well, let's assume it was not a hit and um, we'll need to do a lot better than that. Uh, Grimwit, you can give me an aim shot too. That was excellent and it must have been a hit before as well because he wouldn't uh, fall down from one hit only, unless it was a critical or something like that. Let's continue. Nothing here. Let's go back a little bit. And um, third curry. Right there. That's fine. Who else is here? Top wick, you need to reload. And uh, go from the other side. That's fine. Turn around. Okay. Santino. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I think you need to go and help uh, Sever with his uh, assignment. Next we have... Um, Random commander. What about over here? Seems nice. Devilkin, another sniper. Okay. So the best angle we have basically from over here. So stay in the smoke. Face this way. Gru. Follow them. We'll... Um, Go inside the UFO from this side, I guess. Delameter. Over here. That's okay. Ivan Dogovic. Down here. And Ravsky will just stay over here. We don't have any other officers, so we need one alive to keep the morale up. Exactly. And that's about it, right? Nobody can move anymore. Third car he could, and I think he should probably step aside just in case. And that's it. Next turn then. Nothing happened. Wow. Really? Where are all the aliens? Hmm. Well, that's strange. Give me a reading. Heh. <laughs> Not a living soul. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. So we'll go through here. One, two, three brave soldiers. And over here, I guess we are fine. 
You guys can just reaction fire. We'll uh, do a little bit of scouting, but I don't see anything. So I guess everybody's inside the UFO. Come back. That's fine. Move a little bit. You are good. You are good. Next turn. Nothing here. Okay. Anything? No. Give me a reading. <laughs> Still nothing. So how do you enter this UFO? Ooh, over here, I guess. Open the door for me. And probably also go inside, I guess. Because we haven't seen any activity. You can't go all the way. Well, you can go all the way, but uh, you would be exposed unless you hide behind that power source. And Gru, we have one little patch of land which is not explored here. They might be hiding over there too. But we don't see them. Take a knee and be prepared. This is very dangerous. But um, the motion scanner doesn't show anything, so they might be here. Maybe not. Next turn. I heard doors opening. Well, it might have been doors closing. Give me a reading. Still nothing. Well, I don't think anybody's in here, to be honest with you. Yeah, it looks like this craft is completely empty. Well, good job anyway, Santino and um, Sever. This looks like... Well, this doesn't look like anything I've seen before. And look at all the Matrix screens flashing over here. This will be probably Earth, I guess. Interesting. Okay, then we need to advance and use our snipers. Yeah, they have a very good line of sight over here. So, I guess from down here is a better approach angle. And we immediately see another guy with a strange weapon. Hmm. Okay, Supras, I think you've shot once. Let's have Devilkin try his best as well. Not exactly, but you have one more shot. No. Okay. What about you, Supras? You have two shots too. Wow, that was cool. Try again. <laughs> I love this weapon. The sniper rifle is amazing. You can hit with it through the whole map. Look at this. We have 100 delirium. Excellent. Two power sources. Three aliens killed. Only three aliens in that UFO. Hmm. It must be some sort of small scout then. Because even the medium scouts have more crew than that. Anyway, Ravski has become captain and Tobwick, Supras Jr. and Grimwit have been promoted to sergeants. Congratulations! Congratulations! So, let's head uh, back home, I guess. Everybody's out. That's fine. And we haven't lost anyone, which is excellent, well against three aliens, that should be a standard. But uh, we do have a couple of new soldiers. Number 36 is DIFYM. 
um, who will from now on be called Diff. Yeah, that's a good name. Very nice time units. Not so brave, but reactions are excellent. Firing accuracy is good and you are really strong. You're one of the best soldiers, I would say. Very good, Diff. Welcome to the team. Number 37 is uh, Mjolnir. Welcome back. Good old friend. Bravery 40. Not so bad. Reactions. Excellent. Firing accuracy. Very good. Strong. And good time units. You are comparable to Diff in every single way. Excellent soldier as well. Number 38. We have uh, GDX21. You have uh, a brave soldier with no reactions, moderate firing accuracy, and very strong. Good time units. Solid. I think with these two stats you'll rather carry a heavy weapon instead of a sniper rifle. But let's... Uh, Continue, number 39 is Silver Knight. Welcome to the team, brave soldier, good reactions, very poor firing accuracy, but strong. You'll be a heavy soldier too. Number 40, CJ Sign 2. CJ Sign 2. I think I will be calling you just CJ. Yeah, that's a good name. Very good firing accuracy, good time units. Strong. Hmm. So average reactions and average bravery. Excellent. So that's all 40 soldiers I had on my list for now. And we haven't sold our loot yet. So let's, send, let's sell the navigations and power sources. That gives us a lot already. Uh, two corpses, that's fine. Plasma caster. What is a plasma caster? Isn't a caster somebody who casts spells? <laughs> I don't know what the caster is, but um, it's obviously some sort of weapon. We don't... Oh, and they are quite expensive as well. Comparable to a rifle. Okay. We'll sell two because... Uh, it will probably take a while until we can research them. And we could use the money. Yeah, exactly. Let's sell that. And we have 1.3 million in the bank. Which means we can purchase a couple of engineers. 10th of January. Is it worth hiring a few engineers? I honestly don't think so. But we can build... A laboratory. Yeah, that might be a better idea. We still do have enough um, living quarters, right? Right. We might uh, use another general stores, though. So let's do that. How much do we have? 125. Yeah. Okay, one more. Over here. Good. Research on the corpse is not going forward very quickly. Manufacturing eight more hours. So let's uh, finish that manufacturing and start producing the motion scanner for profit now. Excellent. And um, I think I wanted to have a look at the UFOpedia because that sniper rifle was excellent. So we have rifles here. So your normal average rifle has a damage of 30. And then we have an assault rifle, also 30. And sniper rifle, 35. Okay, so it's a stronger weapon. It's more powerful than a standard rifle and has excellent accuracy. However, it is harder to use and has a low rate of fire. Uh, probably means 
that you can't do auto shot, which I don't care about. So let's uh, compare the two assault rifle. Well, maybe like this. Okay, so accuracy on auto shot is better. However, accuracy on the aimed shot is worse for assault rifle. And uh, 30 to 35, 25, 80, and uh, time unit cost is reduced on the assault rifle. I guess I might be using this then instead of the normal rifle because I would use it primarily for snapshots and auto shots, which has increased accuracy and decreased time units. Primarily a mid range weapon, the assault rifle is versatile and can fulfill most roles on the battlefield. Yeah, seems like uh, my kind of weapon. And it uh, shares clips with a normal rifle, so that's excellent. And this guy, sniper rifle, kicks a bigger punch. Doesn't have auto shot, which I don't care about. And look at this. How much does a normal rifle have? 110. This guy has 160% uh, accuracy. And time unit costs only 50% compared to 80% on a normal rifle. That means, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to purchase some assault rifles. Where are you? About six and we'll take more sniper rifles as well plus a few spare clips a few spare clips here exactly like that and uh, somebody asked me to purchase a few attack dogs let's uh not enough store space seriously are they taking so much store space well, let's take uh, two then. And uh, let's see. Well, we can't see it yet, but uh, they are obviously taking a lot of space. Good. UFOpedia says that attack dogs have time units 80. Oh, they will do good scouts. Health 25, no armor, they bite for 40 damage, which is better than a rifle, come on. These highly trained dogs are fully capable in battlefield conditions, always obedient, they won't attack unless ordered to do so. To avoid compromising their positions, agents can communicate with these dogs via ultrasound whistles. That's cool. Let's, uh, let's take one on board. And... With that much money we can't do much else, so I will be just sending the interceptors and probably probably also a Sky Ranger. Yeah, let's send the Sky Ranger on uh, the patrol duty over here in the jungle. Okay, some clips, that's fine. Let's check the graphs too. So... Activity only in Southern Africa. That's a bit strange. Attack dogs? Okay, cool. Any other activity? Not just yet. Sky Ranger is out of fuel. Let's replace him with the Interceptor. Not that far, come on. You know the drill. Here. Start patrolling. Graphs say nothing has changed. No UFOs whatsoever. But we have been on two missions already, so I'm not so unhappy about the month of January. Guess we can uh, send another interceptor over there. Ooh, Ktonite Corpse. Let's uh, have a look. Well, this is definitely borrowed from Terror from the Deep. This is a Gilman, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, here in OpenXCOM final mod pack, it's called a Htonite. This alien has a strong and resilient body, but it is otherwise quite similar to us. Its thick skin gives it a good protection against bullets and blades alike. So that would explain why we 
had to fire three times or even more <laughs> with a rifle on it and it didn't die. Its eyes are protected by a pair of cybernetic goggles which seem to enhance its vision as well as protect the eyes. Good to know. So what can we do next? Firearms, proximity grenade, alloy island biology. I didn't see that coming. I guess we have opened this after um, researching the corpse, which would make sense, but I was expecting that they tell me that I can research something new. Well, I guess alien biology that could lead to a uh, alien containment, right? I would say, because we need that. We need to start capturing live aliens like... Uh, Navigators, for example, I want that Hyperwave Decoder ASAP. So let's do that, although I wanted to research um, Alien Alloys too for uh, the personal armor. Anyway, it's been uh, 14 days. Activity is still only in Southern Africa. Hmm. We might want to... Because I know, well... In the original Open XCOM and original XCOM as well, there has always been a mission in your territory in January, and it uh, seems like well, North Africa a little bit of uh, activity, but they must come sooner or later. Maybe we should increase our. Uh, our efforts. So let's send uh, a Sky Ranger too. And now you might be saying, why are you sending a Sky Ranger over here? This is covered by the radar. Well, tell me, um, let me tell you this. The Sky Ranger has a 100% chance of detecting a UFO and a small radar, which we have right now, has a 5% chance every 30 minutes or something like that so using the sky ranger or interceptor for that matter will increase our chances significantly okay continue scouting and um, interceptor go back it's 15 of January Sky Ranger still has a lot of fuel and we see a UFO small very high northeast okay yeah so let's uh, take interceptor one how much fuel do you have 80% okay you can start returning back we might you have 65% fuel that's excellent we may want to oh Look at this. Look at how many cities do we have here. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a standard small scout. These guys land, as far as I can say. Look at this. Uh, yeah, I think... Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just the same as before. Although... Port Said, nah, it must be more than before. I don't remember that many cities on the globe. So let's follow them and uh, speed 13. I'm not sure if they are not already on their way back. Well, anyway, let's equip uh, Sky Ranger with a different crew. Let's take. Um, one scout tank only and one attack dog. We'll take... Uh, where are my assault rifles? We'll take uh, six assault rifles and two normal rifles. Two sniper rifles. Maybe two more. Combat knife. And that's about it, right? First aid kit, two motion scanners, that's good. 
smoke grenades grenades we need more smoke grenades i guess so let's buy those two before i forget smoke 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 over here let's take 10 and let's also change the crew so we'll be taking um, the original crew off although we still have some rookies here raske will go at the bottom and since he's a captain he'll be the morale officer on board and we'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 more rookies with us. Who's a heavy soldier? Uh, Sofian. Okay, Sofian, you'll go on the top. Excellent. And um, who else? I think uh, Pavel Lennart is a marksman, but he's weak. Nah, still we need uh, somebody. Yeah, we'll have one guy with a heavy weapon and one guy with a sniper rifle, just in case we see somebody uh, from the ramp already. Exactly. Sniper rifles, we have two. Let's take one more sniper rifle. And we don't need that much ammo. That should do nicely. So we have nine together. 18 clips. Good. So Skyranger is uh, ready. 63% fuel should be enough. Let's uh, send them after UFO number 4 and let's hope they will land quite soon. Uh, you can return. Are you slowing down, UFO? Yes, you are definitely slowing down. Uh, come on. They are... Increasing their speed now, but they have landed. Excellent. So we have another mission during the day, but it has been uh, 27 minutes already. So let me just equip <laughs> attack dog. Look at that. That's sweet. <laughs> can I actually put uh, some equipment on him? I can put equipment on attack dog. That's crazy. Reaction 70. Wow, you are good. Anyway, let me equip our crew plus the attack dog and I'll be right back. And we're back. So, the attack dog is not carrying anything because weight, uh, well, strength 2 is not that much. Sofian has a rocket launcher with rockets and loaded already. Pavel Lennart, the second guy on the ramp, will have a sniper rifle with a backup knife just in case and the rest of you will basically have a combination or a mix of assault rifles sniper rifles you don't need that and uh, normal rifles plus Ethan and I think uh, one more guy who was it Ethan and Roderick will have motion scanners and that's basically it so let's begin and we see the UFO right here, but uh, it's been 29 minutes, so we'll continue. Whoops. We'll continue in the next episode. Till then, bye bye.